So uh, it's double zero twenty eight. I just woke up at home to a structure fire in Littleton. Uh, just sound out an initial social media message on this. I can see it on the city of Littleton's cupola cam. It's rare that a PIO gets an immediate look at this as I'm rolling out my driveway. So we'll uh, see how it's going when I get there. Ladder 18, engine 11, engine 13, medic 11, battalion chief 2, safety 18, channel SMF off 3, reported residential structure fire, map page R21D, South Prince Street and West Main Street. Ladder 18, disregard tones, ladder 18, disregard tones, you're back in. Ladder 12, reported residential structure fire, map page R21D, South Prince Street and West Main Street. Dispatch District 1. District 1, we're getting reports that this is a working fire. I'm going to go confirm. Dispatch Engine 11. We got a working fire. Go ahead and start a uh, second alarm. Medic 13. Copy, Medic you have a working fire. We're striking a second fire. alarm Medic at midnight 21. 21. Engine 11. South Prince Street Engine 11. Main Street. I'm seeing we got a three story multi family structure with the possible extension into a occupied three story multi family structure. Working fire, floor three in the roof. We're going to be stretching the two and a half. We'll be transitional from the street. The offensive, I'll be Prince Command. Copy, I got you on scene. You have a three-story multifamily possible extension to an occupied three-story commercial structure. You have fire through the roof. You got a two-and-a-half transition from the street. You'll be offensive and in command, midnight 22. Medic 11, command. Go for Medic 11. Marry up with engine 11. Let's stretch that horizontal standpipe to the uh, Charlie Delta corner and transition that roof. Medic 11, copy. Bravo, 11 Alpha, or sorry, Command, Charge the line. Tower 32, Engine 38, Engine 14, Engine 19, West Metro Engine 12, Medic 16, Medic 18, West Metro Battalion Chief 3, Battalion Chief 3, Safety 35, Channel SMF Op 14, Second Alarm Structure Fire, Map Page R22C, at Park North Ride, 5777, South Prince Street, Tower 32, Engine 38, Engine 14, Engine 19, West Metro Engine 12, Medic 16, Medic 18, West Metro Battalion Chief 3, Battalion Chief 3, Safety 35. Ladder 12, we're approaching the scene. Where do you want us? Second alarm. Ladder 12, five. if you can come in from the north and sneak in uh, on that Charlie side, you guys should have ladder access. Uh, just be careful because there is power lines that run along that Charlie side. I mean, we're going to come in from the north. We're going to uh, set up our aerial. Looks like defensive ops. Hey, for and break dispatch command. There's going to be a defensive fire on the unoccupied building. We're going to be offensive in the Bravo 1 exposure on 4 3. Ladder 12, battalion 2. Ladder 12, battalion 2. Ladder 12, go ahead. The uh, Charlie side, there's a parking lot, and it's all open. There is power lines. It looks like there's plenty of room for you to set up, though. I copy that, Ladder 12. We're going to be on the Charlie side. We've got a good spot to set up. We're going to uh, set up for defense box. Command Engine 13 on scene. Cover Command. Engine 13 on scene. 13 is just a uh, spot in the intersection. Bring your crew up on here. Help me get a couple more lines in place. Got these fun in the intersection. I need a few days space. Command Battalion 2. Go ahead, Battalion 2. Come on, scene. Copy. You got a working defensive fire, three story, unoccupied structure. Stretch two and a half. You secured your own water supply. You have ladder 12 setting up on the Charlie side. Uh, let me know what additional needs you have, and I'll take it from over here on the alpha side. Okay, yeah, I copy. We got Medic 11 with our horizontal standpipe. They're going in that Bravo 1 exposure. Check for extension in that third floor apartment on the Alpha Delta corner. And I have my other fire deploying in additional three connects to this Charlie side for uh, fire control. 
Copy, you got second pre-connect going to Charlie Side for fire control, and Medic 11 is looking for the third floor, or correction, on the apartment side. Command ladder 12, we're going to need a water supply back here on Charlie. Command for Medic 11. Medic 11, go ahead. We are clearing the uh, first, second, and third floors of the Bravo 1 exposure. So far, we got to move out. We do not have a hose line up here, but we do not have extension into the residential portion yet. Crap, you've got uh, access to the second, third floor with no hose line, and you haven't made access to the occupied area. And Command Medic 11, we got LPD cleared this building with us right now. Engine 13, Engine 11, if you could pull an additional pre connect off my engine, shoot out uh, Alpha Delta Corner. Copy, additional pre connect Alpha Delta Corner. Command dispatch. Okay, hey, Command Engine 11, I did not get a 360 complete. Copy, I understand you haven't completed a 360. And Engine 13, go ahead and put that line. 13, copy. Command dispatch. Command letter uh, 12. We're going to need a water supply on the Charlie side. Copy, your understand. Still need a water supply on the Charlie side. Command, dispatch. Dispatch, go ahead. It's your 10-minute ticker. Copy, 10 minutes. Command engine 15, level 1. We're out on the Charlie side on Sycamore. Hey, 15, I want you to take care of water supply for ladder 12, Charlie no, side. Copy, water supply, ladder 12. Command engine 1, 6 is on scene level 1. Copy, 16, level 1, stand by. Engine 11, Bravo, Engine 11, Alpha, drop that dead gun about, about two feet. 16, I want you to report to the Alpha side. As, as uh, report to Command Post, we'll give you direct. 16, to the Alpha side, Command Post, copy. We had Medic 13 on scene. Safety 18, Command. Safety 18, go ahead. I need a 360 on this. Copy or reposition, we'll get you a 360. Command dispatch. Dispatch, go ahead. Can we get an exact address on this? Copy. Main structure 5664. Command medic 11. Medic 11, go ahead. Primary is complete on 2, 3, and 4. On the half of the building closest to the fire, we have no extension into the living space. On 2, 3, or 4. Copy. You've got no extension living space on... Uh, floors 2, 3, and 4 of the Bravo 1 exposure. That's affirmative. Do you want us to continue clearing the rest of this building? Hey, firm, and I'm going to give you Engine 16 to assist you with that. Command Engine 11. 11, go ahead. The third floor masonry wall on the Delta side closest to the Charlie Corner is compromised. We're going to go ahead and move back out of the collapse zone. Copy, you're reporting uh, collapse, or uh, potential collapse on the Charlie Delta corner over there. Command West Metro Engine 12, level 1. West Metro Engine 12, just level 1 for now. Command Medic 11. Medic 11, go ahead. Primary complete on 4, we're moving to 3. Copy, primary complete on level 4, you're moving to 3. And I uh, sent Engine 16 in there to assist you with that. I copy you assigned them up here. We haven't seen them yet, Chief. Command, ladder 18 staged at Main Street, Nevada Street. Where do you like us? 18s, I want you to approach the scene from Littleton Boulevard and Prince. We want you to set up next to ladder engine 16. 18 copies next to 16. Command, just be advised, you have two ALS medic units staged. At Maine and Prince, just south of Maine, Medic 13 and Medic 16. Copy location for Medic 16 and Medic 13. Command Engine 11, 11, Bravo, 11 Alpha, can you increase the pressure on uh, Engine 13's 2.5? Ladder 12 Delta, Ladder 12 Bravo, as soon as we have water, start pulling water for defensive ops back here. No, but I'm ready. Watch it. Ladder 12, command. Ladder 12, go ahead. Hey, if I get a chance, Charlie says. Yeah, we've got uh, power lines impacted. We have uh, collapsed potential on the Charlie side. 
still got active fire as soon as we get a positive water supply, I think we're going to have a real positive effect. Uh, so we just verified that they've evacuated all four floors of the structure. I have no need. Copy. You're working on positive water supply still. You got impacted power lines. You think you'll have positive effect once you start flowing. And PD's reporting evacuation all four floors. Great. District 1, come in. District 1. And arrival, can you report to the Charlie side? I want to make you Charlie Division. Got me Charlie Division. It's impinging, but it, we're not into this yet. I don't okay. think we're into this yet at all. Okay. And they have to go. It's 15, all four floors. Water, okay. Water's coming. Command Medic 11. Flashing over to you. Command, that was Medic 11. We got a primary complete floor three. Copy. Primary complete floor three, Bravo 1. Command safety team. Safety team, guys. <laughs> 360's complete. Your main unit is going to be the fire unit. You do have a potential for collapse. Charlie side and that Delta side. We do have power lines that are impacted on the Charlie side and along the Delta side. Use extreme caution. Yeah, 360's complete. Important the main fire building, three story. Okay. Power lines both on the Charlie side, Delta side that are active and potential collapse on both sides. Hey Lindsay, I'm gonna let you keep it back here for I'm gonna go back around to the I'm more concerned about that corner over there. Hey, hey Jason, so 5654, third floor of the Charlie Delta Corner. Charlie Delta Corner of 5654, we're starting to get involved. So we're just, in the, on the Charlie side, there's impingement up on the roof. I can't tell if it's inside yet, but at some point... That's fine, we'll get a better look, but at some point we're going to need to get a crew up there on the... Okay. But on that building over there. Give me a second. Yep. When you come in, you're going to stay out of the flat zone. We're going to nose in. Right, no problem. We'll take more pressure. So I want you to line up right again. Hey, so the power lines on the back side of Orange County. Everything popped back there. Uh, they just have well back there with Lindsay Miller. That whole side I think is gonna collapse. And then you just got your you know the Delta side, Charlie Delta corner that's starting to bow right there on that bridge. So the only other concern I got is that on the four-story side on that building, it's not attached yet, but Charlie Delta corner of that building is starting to get involved. So we may have something up in and now in this building as well. We have people, and that's where Medic 11's at, is inside Medic 11 was inside, 16's is going in there. said they heard him pop, okay. but um, again, I can't tell. So we have that one, and then obviously the Charlie Delta corner of this box. Okay. 16 is going up there right now. Crews have gotten a really good knockdown so far. We're 30 minutes into the incident. Got a few lines flowing in through the Alpha side, including uh, one aerial, and they're setting up crews on the Charlie side as well right now, laying another supply line. Go ahead. 
take off the boat there. So here on the Charlie side of the building on the Sycamore Street side, you can see there's four stories to the building and up on the fourth floor of what is the Bravo One Exposure, which is an occupied apartment building, you can see where fire started to extend onto the siding and actually the flames were hot enough to break the glass of an occupied unit. For span of control, there's a Charlie division, so a second division is in place where I'm standing. That's being led by District 1 and Battalion 2 is the incident commander on the Alpha side. So with an incident this big geographically separated and so many crews on scene with so many hazards and complexity, dividing up that command structure can be helpful. So I'll turn the camera around and you can see what I'm looking at. So right up there, you can see where the fire extension came really close to that occupied third floor unit. Ladder 18 is operating with their master stream on the alpha side. And then over here next to me, we've got ladder 12 set up in the parking lot. There's also a level two staging area full of those second alarm resources. So here's something you don't see every day. Engine 15 parked in the middle of Littleton's downtown Main Street, hooked up to the hydrant with two five inch lines, which wrap a little bit down Main Street and then follow all the way down Sycamore Street to engine 19 and supplying ladder 12. So you can see District 1 parked here on Main Street at the alley access that goes to the Charlie side of the fire building. And it was apparent that the plume was uh, dumping lots of heated and maybe even burning debris out of the smoke column as it laid down across the stores on Main Street. The sidewalk is just completely littered with brands and ashes that fell out of the smoke plume as this fire was burning. So here at the corner of Main Street and Prince, we've got West Metro Engine 12 on the hydrant supplying down the street to where ladder 18 is. It's just after 2 a.m. The incident is uh, long under control now. The second alarm units have been released. First alarm units are starting to pick up supply lines and then the investigators have been actively doing some interviews around the area and they will work on more of the physical evidence side of things as the morning progresses. Because it's 2 a.m., um, there aren't any Denver media crews on duty that are here right now, so I probably won't have anything um, as far as interviews go or person-to-person -person contact with them until later this morning, maybe around 4.30 or 5 a.m. when assignment editors come in. They may have some questions, but um, there's no need to do like a press conference or any interviews here. The Littleton Police Department PIO is also on scene, so she and I have been working together. And really, that's pretty much it from the PIO perspective. The UAV team is here. Um, so IDT2 is on scene and they're using their thermal imaging camera to take a look inside the building and see where the hot spots are, which is super helpful. And really that starts to pretty much wrap up this incident. The South Metro Fire Marshal's Office and Littleton Police Department continue to investigate exactly what caused this fire. Thankfully, no one was injured, but unfortunately, six of the apartment units in the building next door were damaged by water and those residents were displaced. A new update at South Metro is that we have enhanced our aircraft rescue and firefighting training facility at Centennial Airport. I had a chance to go out there and check out training with live fire. Let's take a look. Uh, so this is our, our new um, live fire prop mobile. It's a mast uh, built by Carilla Fire. Uh, we just got it here at Centennial Airport. Centennial Airport was nice, nice enough to uh, purchase the prop for us uh, here at the training facility. and, and uh, so. Um, the forward of the, the fuselage is, is just a, a normal straight cockpit. Um, the throttles and everything works up there. 
We do have a, a burn uh, element that comes through the cockpit that we can simulate a cockpit fire. Um, and then as you come through, we've got another burn uh, simulator here that uh, is just in the passenger compartment. Uh, we do have theatrical smoke that's built into uh, the prop so we can fill it with smoke. Um, the seats, we have six right now. We can reconfigure them in any way we want. We can take them out. We can uh, choose to leave them in. Today we're going to leave them in. Um, and as you walk through, we, um, we've got a uh, another burn element here in the cargo hold so we can simulate a cargo hold fire. Uh, everything's run by propane, so it's, uh, it's very clean. Uh, and then a uh, piercing prop here. We've got two different, three different points of egress on the L1 side, the R1 side, and then out the back gate. Uh, on the exterior, mainly everything burns on the left-hand side of the, of the, of the prop. Uh, we can do an engine fire, a wheel well fire, and then we have a liquid fuel spill fire, to where we, um, which hopefully you guys will see here in a little bit. Uh, the right-hand side just simulates a wing and, and uh, any work we need to do, but we're very appreciative of uh, the airport's generosity and, and really making this project uh, a reality for us and allowing us to, to, to do all of we need to at Centennial Airport at our home airfield. Uh, and in conjunction with our two new uh, ARF apparatus, the ARF team has progressed uh, significantly at South Metro. So, uh, yeah, we'll go outside and go from there. <clears throat> Uh, the, the ARF, the, the prop is, is really kind of the impetus of uh, the uh, South Metro ARF training facility here at, at Centennial Airport. Uh, as you see, the, the, the facility has, has gone through some improvements with uh, recycled asphalt and sealing it. And we're going to make it larger going that way. We've got a couple different fuselages up here that uh, we're going to turn into some props. All right, well, good morning. Welcome back from your four-day. Hopefully you guys had a good Thanksgiving. Um, Today's the first day that we're going to actually burn uh, and get and get our crews inside the IDLH on, on our new prop. A huge shout out to Captain Althouse for all his work and uh, the airport for uh, making this project really a reality. So um, as you can see, we've, we've already gone to train the trainer with most of you all. So you know the ins and outs of, of what to expect. Uh, today, like I said, is just live fire. So we'll get you guys uh, fighting fire on the exterior and then going inside. Uh, so that we can uh, accomplish some of our JPRs that we need for our certifications. So I'd like everybody to do is just walk through, even though you've been through this prop before, walk through it again. Take a look at all the different burn locations. Um, there are two emergency shutoff buttons, one just inside this door and then one on the other side, on that other exterior, L, uh, be the R, R1 door, okay? So if there's a problem on the inside, you guys need the fire to stop, just go ahead and push those buttons. Obviously, we'll have the dead man and we have uh, somebody on the control podium. Passenger flight deck. This is the exterior on the left hand side. Uh, here's your smoke. Smoke on. These you don't have pilots because these are all wireless, right? And then, uh, your 12, rear fuselage and your APU. Um, so, uh, and then here's your spill fire. No pilot for that just because it's direct feed. The wireless igniters are on. Here's our 12, dead man. Medic 12, and so you'll see everything here is green except for the dead man. When you, he clicks the dead man, it turns green. So you have okay. greens all the way across the board. Here's your emergency stop if you have any issues. These into, so this is your cargo right here. Okay. So if you just turn that on, your cargo is going to go. Okay. But when we have water on the fire, we want to come here and turn this off and leave the pilots on. Okay until we're completely done with everything and we burn everything off of it. Red 1, Red 2, Red 4, Medic 44, Battalion 1, Safety 35, Respond 7800, South Peoria on an Alert 3. Red 1, Port 5. Let's go ahead. Twenty-one Centennial Tower, enter right base from Midwest. I got cleared. Land, twenty-one seven zero. All the way across Alpha and Bravo. We got a Lear thirty-five that uh, crashed. It's heavily involved in fire. We got a spill. I see. Uh, looks like one person may have gotten out. We're working on fuel from the out of fuel. Good one, copy. Sure we have a Lear thirty-five that's crashed. Yeah. We're clear at the over Alpha right. and Bravo runway. We'll uh, go ahead and start uh, three additional medics. 
two engines for suppression the stage at Albany. I copy your additional needs. We'll get those dispatched. Let's see, we Dispatch got red one. Get it from here? Yeah. We have a low impact, Lear 35 is off. We do have a uh, fire in the interior and a ground fire in the exterior. Red one's going to be set up at the nose for fire attack. We'll be on the offensive strategy. Red two is going to be assisting from the six o'clock, hitting the ground fire in the tail section. Also deploying a hand line for fire attack in the interior of the structure. Red 4 is going to be egress corridor. Dispatch copies Red 1, you're going to be fire attack. You got Red 4 that's going to be uh, egress. Red 2 is going to be at the tail, working on egress and going interior. Players out on the exterior of the plane are preparing. Uh, interior lines. Now it's starting to fuselage, it's breached through, we're working on a fire attack now. Primary, sir. So cargo. Uh, we're looking at the yeah. 6 o'clock position. We'll just go there. Copy that, Red 2. You do have fire in the cockpit, and you're making access from the 6 o'clock fire attack primary station. Just to confirm, you have Medic 44 teaming up with you. A little water on that. Hey, sir, I have Medic 44. Yeah, leave that one off and the cargo off until they put water on the fire, but go flight deck, smoke, AP. engine, uh, engine, yep. And now for some apparatus updates. The only one I have for you is that Hazmat 38 is complete. And next week I'm driving up to Loveland, Colorado to the SVI factory to check out final inspection and give you a behind the scenes look at exactly what that takes to ensure that the truck meets all of the specifications before it's delivered to South Metro. So I'll bring you that story in the next vlog as well as a recent outbuilding fire. You may have noticed the wall behind me looks a little different. I did some redecorating in my office, mainly to accommodate all of the patches that we get in the mail. And thank you so much for your kindness in sending these in and trading with us. Connor has some on the wall in her office as well, so we get to enjoy these every day and it's really cool. I have one patch to shout out today and to add onto my wall, which is really neat. It is from Washington, DC. It's Georgetown EMS, which is a volunteer ambulance group. Thank you so much for watching South Metro Fire Rescue here on YouTube and for following us on all of our other social media platforms. We'll have the station Saturday featuring 40s coming up soon and the next Fleet Friday is coming up. I'll be filming that with Captain Pickford on the new training Tiller 34. Until then, see you in the next video.